Okay, so let's take a look at the knife tool here in Cinema 4D. So the knife tool allows you to cut polygon objects and spline objects. The tool works in all three modes, point, edge, and polygon. When you're cutting polygons, there are many parameters that you can use to precisely control the cut. The knife cuts the polygons by creating new points and edges along the cutting line. If you've made a selection, the cut will be restricted to that selection. So let's see what all that means. Let's first drop a cube into the scene. We'll go ahead and make that editable. Let's go ahead and hit K to enable the knife tool. And I want to come over here and go into polygon mode. So currently, we're in line mode with the knife. So if I just come in here and draw a line in here, you're going to see that we've made a cut through the cube. But under closer examination, if we come around to the back, we'll see that the knife cut did not go all the way through the cube. Now, this has to do with the parameters over here that we have set. So right now, we have visible only checked. Now, if I Command or Control z to go backwards, and I uncheck this, come back over here and make my cut again, and we go around and take a look at the back, we will see that it actually went through the entire cube this time. Now I'm going to Command or Control Z to get back out of that again, and I'll come over here and grab my Live Selection tool, and I'm going to select a polygon face, hit K on the keyboard again, we're still in line mode, and we have Restrict to Selection checked. So now if I make a cut, my knife cut is only going to be on the selected polygon. If we would have had edges checked, then only the edges would be cut and the polygon themselves would not be cut. With create ingons, if this parameter is checked, ingons will be created automatically and the resulting polygons will have more than four corner points. Okay, so that pretty much does it for the line mode. Let's control or command Z to go backwards. And I'm going to deselect everything. I'm going to hit K on the keyboard again. Let's go take a look at the next mode, which is the whole mode. So I am going to middle mouse click here and go into the front view. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click there. One here, one there, one right there. We'll come back down here to close that off. And we'll go back into the perspective view. And we'll see that we have created a hole in our cube now. Okay, so let's control or command Z to go backwards. And let's go take a look at the next mode we have, which is the plane mode. This mode gives you an easy way to make cuts along a plane. You can make a single cut or make multiple cuts at one time. Okay, so let's see how this thing works. So I'm in plane mode. And right now I am using the XY plane. So we can see if I make a cut here and make a cut here, I've made two cuts in my cube and they go completely around my cube. Okay, let's control or command Z to get back. Let's say that I needed to make 20 cuts at one time. Well, we can just type that in here. And you'll see that if I go over here, Click once, I've got all my cuts in there. I'll just Command Z. I can control the spacing of those cuts. Right now, I'm sitting at 10 centimeters. If I was sitting at, let's say, 3, and came over here again, still making those same 20 cuts. They're just much closer together. Command Z to get out of that. And of course, we can change the planes from XY to YZ. So we've got it going along there. And we can work on the XZ plane. And right now I have my snaps on. Let me turn that off. So now I can just click right there. And I've got my cuts again. Back out of that. Okay, now let's come over here and take a look at another mode. And that's going to be loop. So loop mode enables you to subdivide edge loops. Okay, so let's come over here. We'll get up on our cube. We'll click on this edge. And if you look at the offset, you can tell where we're at. So I want to make a cut right there. So we're 2.26% off this top of the edge. So I'm going to click there. And it's a loop, so it goes completely around the cube. And I'm going to come back down here. I want to make another one, but I want to be more precise with this one. So once I have the indicator of where my cut is going to be, I can push Shift on the keyboard and then move my mouse 
and I could come over here and I could get this very, very specific on where I want this. So let's say that I wanted it at 0.15 and then I come back out here and I click. Well, I've got my loop cut right there. So again, you do that by holding down the shift key. And again, you can make cuts in any direction depending on the edge that you're selecting. This just happens to be one of those tools that you're going to use all the time. This, the extrude, the bevel, these are the tools in modeling that you will use over and over and over. Okay, so that's the knife tool here in Cinema 4D.